General Physics 2 is brought to you by Physics Classroom. In General Physics 2, we shall explore electrostatics, also known as static electricity. Static electricity is one of the familiar phenomena. It can cause problems. When the sky goes black and lightning flashes and cracks above our heads, we feel the effects of static electricity on great frightening scale. It also causes a shock when we slide across a car seat and touch the door handle, and makes a sweater cling when we take it off. In exploring static electricity, it is significant to become familiar with the following substantial concepts. Electric charge. Forces between charges. Conductors and insulators. Methods of charging. Electric field. And now let's talk about electric charge. Everything is made of tiny particle called atoms. Its central part is the nucleus made up of protons and neutrons. Orbiting the nucleus are much lighter particles known as electrons. Normally, atoms have equal numbers of protons and electrons, so the net charge on a material is zero. Let us now explore forces between charges. Benjamin Franklin, 1706 to 1790, named the two kinds of charge positive and negative. When you rub balloon across your hair, the charge on your hair is positive, and that of the balloon is negative. A charged object exerts a force, a push or a pull, on other charged object. The force between two objects may be of the same charge or opposite charges. Thus the law of electric charges states that, like charges repel, and opposite charges attract. Conductors and insulators Materials that allow electrons to pass through them, are called conductors. Some of their electrons, are so loosely held to their atoms, that they can pass freely between them. Materials that hardly conduct electrons are insulators. Their electrons are tightly held to atoms and are not free to move. This table shows various examples of conductors and insulators. Good conductors are metals like silver, copper, aluminum, and carbon. Poor conductors are water, human body, and earth. Examples of insulators are plastic, glass, rubber, and dry air. Let's talk about the methods of charging. Charging by friction. This is a process that results in a transfer of electrons between the two objects that are rubbed together. Charging by conduction. This is a process of charging wherein electrons are transferred from one object to another by direct contact. Charging by induction. This is a process that takes place when charges in an uncharged object are rearranged without direct contact with a charged object. Grounding or the removal of charge. This is a process of uncharging. A region of space, in which an electric charge will experience a force, is known as electric field. The direction of the field at a point in space, is the direction in which a positive test charge, would move if placed at that point. Observe the direction of electric field lines. Notice that the positive test charge, experience a force that is pushing away from positive Q. However, for the negative charge, the force acts in the opposite way, which is moving towards the negative Q. The magnitude of the electric field, E, at a point, can be quantified as the force per unit charge. We can write this as E equals F over Q, where F is the column force exerted by a charge, on a test charge Q. The units of the electric field are newton per column, in symbols, n per c or can also be expressed as nc to the negative 1. E is also called electric field intensity. An electric field can be strong or weak. The electric field intensity E, is defined as the electric force F, per unit charge, Q in the field. We can write this as E equals F over Q. The unit is in newton per column, or can also be expressed as nc to the negative 1. Let us study the sample problem below. A charge of 3.0 times 10 to the negative 9 column, is placed at a point experiencing a force of 6.0 times 10 to the negative 4 newton. 
What is the electric field intensity at that point? The given quantities are, charge Q equals 3.0 times 10 to the negative 9 column. Force F equals 6.0 times 10 to the negative 4 Newton. And the required to find, electric field intensity E. And for the solution, substituting the given values to the formula E equals F divided by Q, and performing the indicated operation. We get the value of electric field intensity, E equals 2.0 times 10 to the 5th Newton per column. As your first performance task, solve the problems below. Number 1. A positively charged proton of 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 column, is placed at any point experiencing a force of 8.0 times 10 to the negative 15 Newton. What is the electric field intensity at that point? Number 2. Thunderstorm can have an electric field of up to 3.4 times 10 to the 5th Newton per column. What is the magnitude of electric force on an electron in such a field? Thank you. Hope you learned something electrifying, yet worthy and meaningful.